In this video, I'm going to guide you through setting up a booking in your club management system or CMS. If you haven't already set up your CMS and set up the website that is associated with it, then please check out the video in the description as this does need to be done first. So let's say you're wanting to create an event booking for a taster session, maybe a beginner's course, maybe a range retainers event, I don't know. The process is very similar. And we first begin by logging in to Sport80 as we would usually. Then we need to select our club account, which in this case is Tutorial Club. Yours will be named after your club. Then we need to select the Access AGB CMS in the left-hand menu as shown. Next, we need to go to our top menu on the left-hand side, scroll down to Manage, Website and Setup. And here we need to go down and double check all details are correct and most importantly, the availability either has today's date or a date in the past, as this means your CMS will be live and when you publish your booking, it is public and people will be able to access this. If you haven't already, like in the setup video, we just want to make sure we've got some pictures added. So next, we're going back to the menu, scrolling down to Manage and Locations. And here we're going to set up the location of where this event is going to run. So as you can see right now, there are no locations, which will probably be similar for yourself. So now we need to click Add New. And here we're going to create a title of this venue. So you want this to be recognizable internally to the club. So for example, are you shooting at a university, maybe a golf course, a community center, add the title as that name. So internally, you know which location that is, as you might shoot at multiple venues throughout the year. So in this case, we're just gonna call this Lillishaw. Next, we need to add all the basic details of this location, which includes the address, the summary, if it is wheelchair accessible and any additional information regarding accessibility. Next, we're going to the geography tab and this is where we pinpoint exactly on the map where the venue is and where the event will be happening as this will be the map that people might use to find where the event is. So we need to place on Google Maps where the event is happening and press save. So now if we go back to the top menu on the left, scroll down to locations and we will now see that we have a location in that we've just created. If you have not, make sure to go back through, add all the relevant details and make sure to press save and also add the location on the map. Now we know the location that the event is gonna be happening is in the system, we can now proceed on to creating the event. To do this, we're going back to the menu on the left and we're gonna scroll down to manage and now bookings. As you'll see here, there's no bookings, so we're gonna create the first one. We're gonna click Add New, and here we're gonna add the title, location, and category of the event. So in this instance, we're gonna create an event called Have A Go At Archery. So we're gonna call the title Have A Go At Archery, the location we're gonna set as the location we've just created, and the category, we're gonna scroll down and pick Have A Go. We're now gonna press Create. So now you'll be on this basic details tab and we need to complete all the relevant details of this page. So we need to complete the title, the summary, any gender restrictions, minimum age, maximum age, supported level, supported disabilities, etc. Next, we scroll down to attendance and complete all these relevant details such as the class limit, how people attend, which of course will be offline in this case because it is an in-person event. Meeting point, any instructions such as meet in the car park, look out for one of our stewards in a high-vis vest, for example, and any other relevant instructions for attendance. And then in the next section, you can set the pricing and cost of the event. Once you've completed all this, you wanna press save, and now we're moving to the schedule tab. So say, for example, on the day that this Have A Go event would run, we ha might have multiple instances of the same event running on the same day. A prime example of this might be at a Start Archery Week event. You might have three events running on the same day. 
So in this case, you can set up your have a go at archery and set the schedule of when these events are going to run. So we go into schedule, click add schedule, select the start date, the end date, the start time, so the first event is going to start at 11 a.m. And then we're going to set the duration of this individual event that's going to happen. So we're going to say 60 minutes. And what day is this going to run on? We can check the calendar and see it's going to run on a Saturday. Now we press create. If this event is just running once, then that's great. But as we've said, it's going to be running three times. We need to add the other schedules of when the event is happening. So now we're going to go back through, add the relevant information, the start time, which for this event is going to be 1230. And then once again, the duration. And now you can see within this have a go at archery event, there are three schedules of when this is got to run. Next, once again, we of course need to press save. So once you've completed the basic details and the schedule, we now need to go back to the basic details page and make public event, as you can see here. And when you click it, it should turn green. But as you can see here, it says event won't be public without an activity. And that's because below it, I haven't selected an activity. So to do this, I need to type in archery and click archery. And now that disappears. And once again, press save. So now we need to double check everything's correct and we can do that by clicking the three dots on the right hand corner and clicking sessions. This will now show you the sessions that you've got running of the event, the dates, the times, etc. If anything is incorrect, you can select the little pencil icon here as shown and edit any of those relevant details and of course press save. Congratulations, you've created an event booking in your CMS.